Bonjour, Tavrars. We are on Thursday the 18th, I think. We are on a TTR rescue mission today. Uh, Lindsay got two birds back at the weekend, and we have had one reported in Kendall. Kendall is South Cumbria. So TTR being TTR, we are on a rescue mission. It's about 100 miles plus either way. <laughs> it's about a four-hour trip, I think. So I'm heading off with the box in the car and we'll do a wee vlog it and hopefully we'll be, I think it's a lovely Mr. Robinson has the, has the bird in. It's a sticky red chick, but unfortunately it's come in with a broken leg. So Rescue Ranger Division is on the road and I think it's about 9.35 or something like that. Catch you in a bit. Okay, my little towers, we are now an hour on the road. We're just north of Carlisle, so we will pump in our postcode and see how far we are to Kendall. Righty ho. Um, Little Dale Kendall, that's what we want. How far do you think we are? We're going to have a bet. Oh, 50, 60 miles. Oh, 56 miles. How lucky am I? Kushta. So we'll have another hour and a bit. So we'll start the journey. Head north. Yeah. Okay, okay. Another hour to go. So, boys and girls, when the older experienced flyers say the birds are nae good until they come up through the hills, they've got to get through the hills first year. That in front of you there is the gap in the hills. We're nearly at Sharp now. We're only two miles from TV services. And these are the infamous hills that every YB uh, has to come through. If they don't do it as a YB, it ain't worth the fuck. Well then, Towers, that's us uh, picked up the Stiggles Red. It is now five past twelve. We are in the South Lakes. I now know where Sebra is, where we quite often train the young birds. So that's been a bit of an adventure. Kendall, never been to Kendall before in my life. It is one hell of a hill down and then one hell of a hill up. But the good old Rav stood up to the test, didn't seem to go too warm on the way back up the hill. And the sat now set to get us back home at 94 miles. These are the hills, boys. These are the hills that the birds have got to find their way through. Every young bird, this is the sharp hills from the other way round. I can either go over the top of them. But ideally, they've got to find the gap round here. For pigeons, this is the Cumberland Gap. Challenge for the chickens. How'd you go over that? Three months old, and you gotta find that gap up there. So, every young bird that you see in my loft has been to shot. Has to fly around there, over the top, or find that gap there. There is no way around it. It's a great big mountainous bowl. The only way out is through that gap there or up over the top, which must be about 300 metres. Right, I'll stop this now. Well then, brothers and sisters, there is no volume left and there is no jam after a full night shift. 
and now 200 miles, four and a half hours. The Broken Red Baron is home. Let's have a look to see what our Marge is so possessive about. I am to. I love my wife. <laughs> The broken red barren. Be your home, lad. Oh. They tell me he's broken just below the knuckle. Not to worry, the margin still sort them out. We'll pop them in the basket with some. 200 frickin miles and five hours in a car. I hope you're glad to be home, mister. This old bugger. Oh no. No, oh, it's his ETS leg that's gone. Okay, okay. Right, I'll get some food and water. Let him chill in the fresh air for a bit. He's just had... Well, he's only had two and a half hours in the car. I've had five. Little tart. I don't know, people. Some things are just worth the time and effort, aren't they? In there quite happily, having a feed. Beautiful. <laughs> 